Okay, one of the last things that we can do when we are on our bar models, now that I've finished every single one of my slides, what will, is kind of fun is if I can add some transitions. So before I add some transitions, what I can do is delete my bar model checklist. Since I've finished my bar models and I've done the checklist, I'm going to select it and press delete. I'm going to select the other checklist and delete. So now I only have my bar models that are there. So what I'm going to do is select my first bar model problem. I'm going to go up to the top where it says transition. Right now it has no transition. So if I click, for example, fade, I can play it and I'll see what happens when it goes. It just kind of went in from one to the next. Okay? I can say stop. I can make it go to like a, sl like a slower fade, which I can pull this down, and we can see what happens. So see how this time it took a little bit longer to fade in. I can stop it. I can try a different one, like slide in from the right. And see how this one is going slower? Okay, if I want it to go faster, I could slide it up, press play, and then look, see that how fast that one is. So I can, what I can do is I have the option to do it to all the slides, meaning every single one of these slides will slide in from the right. If you want to have different ones for each one, I can go to my next one, and then I can change it to something different. Like I can flip it, see what that means. Okay, like it flips it. gallery. Okay, and it all depends too on how fast or slow you do something. Okay, so you can go ahead and go through them and add a transition to all your slides or you can add a different one to each one of those. So go ahead and have fun.